feel like Superman when you're up there because you're floating, you're flying. Uh, and so it's the greatest feeling in the world. We have a go for main engine start. August 28th, 2009. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. The space shuttle Discovery lifts off from Cape Canaveral, Florida to the International Space Station. On board with the six other shuttle astronauts, 47-year-old Jose Hernandez, Stockton Franklin High School and University of the Pacific graduate, but his road to get there wasn't easy. NASA rejected me not once, not twice, not even three or four times. It was 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th time that uh, I was finally asked to be part of the 19th class of U.S. NASA astronauts. Jose came from very humble beginnings, an immigrant from Mexico, a migrant farm worker as a kid, picking tomatoes in a field like this one near Eight Mile Road in Lodi. Traveling from one town to the next, picking crops, one day his father made sure Jose watched the Apollo 17 mission in 1972. And to see it clearly, Jose was tasked with holding the antenna to get a clearer picture on the TV. I always tell my, my dad that that's why I became an astronaut, because I was holding onto the antenna watching astronaut Gene Cernan walk on the moon. But his father gave him a more important lesson one day in the family car after a day of hard work. He wanted him to think about the difficulties of life in the fields versus getting an education. He said, yeah, I'm not going to force you to go to school, much less get good grades. But if you're wondering what your future is like without an education, he said, welcome to your future. Jose listened and went to college, becoming an astronaut. But he says his biggest accomplishment? He co-developed the first full-field digital mammography imaging system for early detection of breast cancer. It has saved uh, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of lives. Now more of a down-to-earth guy, Jose runs his nonprofit Reaching for the Stars Foundation in Stockton to inspire youth to find passion in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So what's next for Jose? Well, Netflix is doing a movie on his life, set to shoot next spring or early summer.